Hey you guys, it's Maddie and welcome to or back to my channel. Um, this is part two of my skincare series and I didn't really have an intro planned out. This was all just one big video, but it was like an hour long and that would be no fun. Um, so I did split it into two parts. So this is part two and in this video we will be covering mostly my nighttime skin routine and we will be getting into the Drunk Elephant Littles giveaway. Alright, so I'm popping in again just like the first video because now that there are two parts, I can ramble more. <laughs> no, but for real, all of this stuff is stuff you need to know if you're interested in buying Drunk Elephant. So like, for example, drugstore skincare, I mean, the most expensive drugstore skincare is just not going to do what Drunk Elephant or Tatcha does for your skin. You know what I mean? And that's just that. Um, okay. So anyway, the reason why I'm holding this, the TLC Glycolic Night Serum, is because I did just want to talk about this a little bit more in depth. Um, just like I did the C Firma in my part one video. Um, just because those are like probably my favorite products. It's like your morning bottle and then your nighttime bottle. So, and then of course I mix it with all the other things that you guys did see. So, I just wanted to um, answer some frequently asked questions about this specific product that I screenshotted off Drunk Elephant's page. So, can I use TLC daily? Yes, TLC Framboos can be used daily. Glycolic acid has decades of safety data demonstrating it to be beneficial for skin, and Drunk Elephant is extraordinarily careful to ensure that our formulas are both gentle and effective. TLC Framboos incorporates soothing antioxidants and is at an appropriate pH level at 3.8 to 4.0, so as to further minimize the potential for sensitization. So like I was talking about in um, part one, how they do really take into consideration what pH levels these acids should be at to ensure we have the best product, you know what I mean? So, new to using acids or want to ease frambuse into your routine? Begin by using every few nights, then every other night, working your way up to nightly use. Um, which I would definitely recommend if you have sensitive skin. Will TLC Framboos make me break out? If you are, okay. One of my friends actually, um, she uses some of the products that I use and then she'll break out and this might be why. If you are using the Suspicious 6 essential oils, drying alcohol, silicones, chemical screens, fragrance dyes, and SLS, like I mentioned in the first video, your skin may be sensitized. In this case, you may experience a reaction when using any product with glycolic acid. If you are using ingredients that sensitize the skin, aka Suspicious 6, so just be really aware of what you're buying. I always look in the ingredients, make sure it is clean. Um, for me, I always shop at Sephora, so they have like their little clean at Sephora list of products and I always make sure it's clean. <laughs> so um, just like I said, make sure that you know what you're putting onto your skin. Okay, so anyway, if you are using ingredients that sensitize the skin, the effect on skin is cumulative and can be imperceptible, occurring over a period of time. On reactive skin, glycolic acid will burn cause skin to turn red, and can lead to breakouts and bumps. If your skin was recently over exfoliated, stripped, or sunburnt, you may also experience a reaction. But on healthy skin, glycolic acid can cause a slight tingling sensation, which it does for me. It's very... Honestly, I, I, it really doesn't even tingle anymore at all. Um, but when I first started using it, I remember that feeling, and I honestly loved that feeling. I love, I love when a product, you know, like tingles or cools or you can feel it working. You know what I mean? I love that in a product. So, can cause a tingling sensation that normally lasts up to two minutes and then plateaus, so it, it doesn't remain tingling. Um, this is normal and it will not cause redness. 
Acids are a wonderful thing when the conditions are right. Yeah, that's just the few things that I did want to mention that I forgot to mention before. So, um, since C Firma is probably what I would recommend the most, just because I think it's done the most for my skin in terms of brightening it and really evening my skin tone and just making it feel smoother and texture free. Um, that and the TLC Glycolic Night Serum. So the Day Serum and the Night Serum are like what I would probably recommend you get the, the most. Alright, so that is actually everything that I wanted to cover. I do want to apologize to you guys for how long this um, video or these two videos did take to get up. But the good news is I'm going to be doing another giveaway after this one in a couple of weeks. Today, um, the day that I'm filming this, I actually just ordered the all three Jeffree Star mystery boxes, the summer mystery boxes. So of course I'm going to be doing a really big giveaway there as well. So just to make up for the time that I haven't been able to edit due to my computer being effed that up and I've been a broke bitch lately. Um, I did get my puppy so I haven't had very much money because she, um, let's just say I could have got a Louis bag instead of the puppy but um, I'm going to show you guys her real quick. Alright you guys, this is Miss Coco Chanel. Say hi Coco. Say hi little baby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, huh baby? Look at this little baby. She's so little. Shit. Jeffrey Mirror. Puppy. <laughs> She's so little. Okay. But yeah, this is little Coco Chanel. We call her Coco. She's super sweet. She loves her big sister, Chloe. Oh, are you a sleepy baby, huh? Hi, babies. I love you. I am going to have an outpour of content because I've just missed it. I've missed recording. So once I do get my computer fixed, the Bonner content will be out. Um, I have so much Jeffrey product to review and do looks with some story times perhaps and of course my apartment tour hello that one I want to get up as soon as possible so just thank you guys for always being patient with me and I hope that this video helped you guys I hope that it is super informative and the last thing I have to say is why drunk elephant why choose drunk elephant over all of the other skincare, you know, lines that there are out there. I have tried so many products. I mean, I have Lemire in my house, I have Tatcha, I have Glam Glow, I have Fresh, I mean, I have, I have a lot of stuff. I have Farsali, I mean, I have a lot of skincare, and you just don't get an experience in any other skincare line like you do with Drunk Elephant in terms of you get to mix it together, you get to experience with what you like, you get to see which skincare smoothie is your favorite, and it just, it, it works, it works, and it makes your skin look and feel amazing. And um, yeah, that's, that's why I think you should choose Drunk Elephant, because it's, it's just the best experience you could really get in skincare. And if it works, bitch, I mean, what are you waiting for? Huh, Coco? Oh, her little tongue is sticking out. Little tongue. Oh, little baby. Oh, little baby. All right, you guys, I am back. It is about 8.30, or it is about 8.45, and I am going to do my nighttime skin routine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair back. I'm in my PJs, rocking some new Bonnaroo merch. I literally bought, like, everything that was there this year. <laughs> I have so much merch from Bonnaroo, and I love it. So again, just like this morning, I am going to pull my hair back. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few of my favorite cleansers. Um... So this one is a good one if you have sensitive skin. This is the Indie Lee 
brightening cleanser. I really love the way this one it feels. It's like a super soft gel. It's so smooth. Um, it does not burn at all. So this would be a perfect cleanser. Like I said, if you have really sensitive skin. Um, it says that you could actually use with a wet cotton pad to remove eye makeup. So this is technically a makeup remover as well, which is awesome. Um, I never use makeup wipes, so this could be a good cleanser for you, and it is an affordable price, unlike some of the others I'm about to show you. And again, this is by Indie Lee. So, a different cleanser. Now, this would be more for if you have acne-prone skin. This is the Tata Harper Clarifying Cleanser. And I use this whenever I'm breaking out or whenever I just need a really, really good cleanse. Like, if I didn't do my skincare one night and I need to get the texture off of my nose or something, um, this is really good for that. I hate any texture on my face. And a clarifying cleanser can be really good for helping get rid of that texture and bumpiness, especially on your nose area. Um, for sensitive skin, I don't know. Um, I don't really have sensitive skin. I can basically put anything on there and it's going to be okay. It might sting a little, but I can handle it. Um, so a clarifying cleanser is going to be more strong and you probably will feel that whenever I wash my face with this. It gives me like a cooling sensation as to where this one I just showed you is, you know, it's just a normal cleanser and you can't really feel it tingling or anything. So it's more of just a preference or what you are looking for in a cleanser. Alright, so a couple of my absolute favorite cleansers for when I am wearing makeup are both by Drunk Elephant. So, so this is the Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. I just got this. I've only used it a few times. It is super moisturizing and absolutely amazing. I am obsessed with it already. And then this is um, the one I showed you guys earlier in the video, the Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. And I have been using this for a while. Um, this is one of my favorite cleansers. It is ideal for all skin types. It's kind of like the Indie Lee one. It's a jelly cleanser. It is um, vegan. It has no scent. That's another thing I love about Drunk Elephant. And um, and like I did say earlier, I do double cleanse every evening, so sometimes this, you know, is my go-to at night, and this is my go-to at night if I'm wearing makeup. Um, so with makeup, I would double cleanse with both of these using this one first um, to kind of melt my makeup off, and then double cleanse with the Bestie number no. 9. When I was um, in Florida, my skin got really dry because I was in the sun all day, and of course I was peeling, so I would just wash my face with this. And as you can see, it comes with a little magnetic scooper on top. Um, but yeah, this is super, super, super moisturizing. I love the way it leaves my skin feeling. It actually upsets me to double cleanse with this sometimes because I love the way it leaves my skin feeling. Um, so yeah, this is probably my favorite makeup remover at the moment. Um, and then, of course, topped with this. And the Littles does come with this facial cleanser. So you guys will be able to try this out. Or one of you. I keep saying you guys, but one of you. Um, hopefully you guys will give this stuff a try, though. Promise it's worth it. Just, you know, read um, into everything. And use as directed, obviously. And just buy products that fit your skin's needs. Alright, so I'm actually not using any of those cleansers today. My absolute favorite cleanser of all time right now, and for the past about six months, I'd say. And she is, she's a little bit, she needs a, wow, this is fucked up, okay. She's used and abused, okay. But this is the Tatcha Double Cleanse. I actually just bought a new bottle a few days ago because I am almost out. I have like a couple more uses, I'd say. And um, I'm going to follow up my double cleanse with the Tatcha Deep Rice Polish. 
Now what this is, I actually was really confused about this, but you guys will see. You just pour it into your hand. It's literally like a powder. It feels like sand almost. And um, it is an everyday exfoliant. I um, have been reading a lot about exfoliants and how physical exfoliating is really not the best way to do so. Um, and this right here is actually a perfect way to physically exfoliate your skin every single day. It is safe for everyday use. So, enough about that. I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. So I got my bowl here again. And my little pal. My little purple face fucking mitt thing. So taking the deep cleanse, the Tatcha deep cleanse, it's it's almost out. Like I I told y'all I wasn't lying. I might have to get the new one. Fuck. Oh oh. Okay, we got some. All right. So um, I love the way this smells. Oh my god, it kind of looks like fucking jizz, but whatever. Um, has some. It has little beads in there. But it's not like an exfoliant or anything. It's just a deep cleanse. And it is, I would say this is fine for sensitive skin. I mean, it doesn't tingle or burn at all. It's just a really good cleanser. It feels really, it just leaves your skin feeling super smooth. Especially with the rice polish after it. And I love the way it smells. Oh my god, it just smells like, like fruit. Ugh. Redipping, you're you're just like putting your gunk into this bowl of water and then reusing it on yourself. I don't know about that. Okay. All right. So the deep polish, you just open her up, and um, you can see that it literally looks like there's grains of sand everywhere. And I'm just going to dump a little bit into my hand, and you can see it in there. And then I just kind of... Jeez, this is really kind of hard to do when you're not in a bathroom over a sink. And whenever people think of like a scrub or an exfoliant, they, you know, they automatically think, like, to scrub, but, um, you don't actually have to scrub, you know, just same as when you wash your face, just gently, you don't have to, you know, everyone is, like, bitching about the Kylie Jenner walnut scrub, and it's like, yeah. Safe for everyday use, my ass. Know what you're buying, know what is in your products that you're buying, and know how to apply those products. But as you can see, it's just turning into a foam when activated with water. It's really pretty cool. I mean, I've never had an exfoliator like this, so... I do like it. Shit, I just got water all over the place and everything is mirrored. <laughs> Love it. Alright, so I do quickly want to talk about masks. Just a few of my favorite masks. I'm not going to do one right now, but I just wanted to show you guys a few of my personal favorites. This is the Jet Lag Mask by Summer Fridays. This is just a super, super, super moisturizing mask. You can even use it as a moisturizer. Or you can use it and then sleep in it. This is one of my favorites. It leaves your face so smooth. I actually love all three um, Summer Fridays masks. I have them all here in front of me. 
or actually I believe I just have these two in front of me right now. This is the Overtime Mask. This is like a pumpkin smelling exfoliating mask. Um, you can check out my masking section um, highlights on my Instagram page, Maddie Marlene Makeup, and you can literally see like details about every single mask I'm about to show you. Um, but these are a couple of my favorites. As you can see, this one is like brand new because I had to replace it. I think this was my third one. This is my second overtime mask. And then there's another one, and it is like rose infused. I cannot remember the name right now, but um, I did just order a new one of those as well. So all three Summer Friday masks are like some of my go-tos. The Tatcha C Violet Radiance Mask. This is like my third jar of this. I love this mask. Um, so it's just... It's another really hydrating mask, but it has vitamin C in it, which, like we talked about earlier, is really good for brightening your skin tone and evening out your skin tone altogether. Um, so this is one of my favorites. It's just so beautiful. The way it feels, it's so rich and creamy. It's It truly is an amazing mask. I love it. Alright, the Sand and Sky Mask. This is a fun one to do whenever you're feeling some textures or your pores are clogged. You slept in your makeup or something and you need to just kind of unclog your pores. Deep clean. But anyway, this is a pink clay mask. And um, I have used a few jars of these as well. I believe this is like my third one too. So this is one that I'm reaching for a lot. I really do like clay masks because it seems to pull out impurities from your pores. Um, and that's what this one does and that's why this is like my favorite clay mask, I would say. Alright, so this is one of my favorite masks ever. I use this one probably more so than any other. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. I will say, sensitive skin, probably not for you. Um, this does burn, even me. Like, um, I just double cleansed, but the cleansers I used weren't too stripping or harsh. So this I could probably use right now and be okay. But if I were to double cleanse and use something like this, a clarifying cleanser, it would probably sting and burn a lot more which is why I'm kind of trying to go into detail as much as possible just to inform you guys of all these things that you may not already know. Um, but this is super good for just acne and keeping your face clear. This is a clearing treatment. Um, this is the big bottle of it. It does come in like a regular size jar and like a tester jar if you will that you can try it like one time and see if you like it so that's what I would recommend for you guys with sensitive skin and you just want to try it out maybe get the little tester all right so this is probably my most potent mask that I have this probably does more than any of the other ones this is the TLC Sakari baby facial by drunk elephant um, if you have sensitive skin, stay the fuck away from this. Like, literally. Um, okay, so even I have had to be careful with this because it's so strong. It's actually only sold in some places. Like, I, I, it might only be available in America because it is so strong and it has AHA and BHA that is like such high levels of it that it cannot be sold in other places. So I'm gonna read you um, the back of this. This next generation mask is an at-home facial that effectively yet gently exfoliates the pore lining and gets rid of dead skin cells. With a whopping 25% AHA and 2% BHA blend of our dream team glycolic, tartaric, lactic, citric, and salicylic acids, this pro-quality formula dramatically smooths texture and reveals a radiant baby soft complexion. Um, so use once weekly, apply an even layer to clean dry skin, leave on for 20 minutes, and then follow immediately with the Virgin Marula Oil. 
and whenever you purchase this mask it does come with a mini bottle of the virgin marula oil um, but this mask oh my god you guys every time I use it I'm like like it feels like I went to the spa and got a facial treatment done so this is the real deal this is like a spa treatment in a bottle um, I would recommend not even cleansing your face before you use it just have a clean face, pat it with water like I do in the mornings, and then use that. Um, definitely only use it once a week. And if you have sensitive skin, do a patch test, of course, before you just put it on there because that, that one can sting very bad, let me tell you. Next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is toner and essence. So, this is a part of like the 12-step Korean skincare, which I was doing at one point. Um, Ever since I started using Drunk Elephant, however, they don't really say to use toner in essence in the skin in your skincare routine, so I've pretty much stopped using this. But I will tell you what they're supposed to do and if you can incorporate them into your skincare routine. You use a toner after you wash your face, and um, I would do this on days that I wore a lot of makeup, or I just need that extra cleanse. I, as you can tell, enjoy this when I have another backup bottle. It has real rose petals in it. And it is hydrating. Some toners can just be really stripping. Make sure to get an alcohol-free toner. But anyway, a toner puts back the pH into your skin that your cleansers may have stripped away. And as you can tell, there was some stuff in my pores. Um, the discoloration is just because of the toner itself, but, you know, there was some, like, fuzzies and stuff. So that's good that it removed that. So I would definitely recommend a toner if you're not super into skincare like I am and you don't have all of these things and you just, you know, you have one cleanser and you don't really double cleanse or you are a full coverage queen and you wear a ton of makeup every day, I would recommend using a toner just to get that extra dirt and makeup out of your pores. And to restore, like I said, hydration and pH to your skin after stripping it with a cleanser. So, what an essence. Um, both of these are by Fresh Beauty, by the way. Um, not too expensive at all. So, an essence is also going to kind of bring back that moisture and luminosity to your skin. And also, um, it helps to absorb your serums and moisturizers more so than if you did not put one on. So again, I really haven't been doing this every night, but I am just going to go ahead and do it for the sake of the video. Just put a few drops in your hand. And you just gently pat that into your skin. Yeah, my face is already a lot more moisturized than it was when I had just washed it. So, at night time, um, the moisturizer I use instead of the Proteiny is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. Now, I have been using this for a while. Um, I've used this longer than any other product. This was like, I think, my first product I got from Drunk Elephant. And it's amazing. Like, I used to wear this before makeup. It's just a really good moisturizer. And again, it's a pump just like the other one. Um, um, anyway, I'm going to be reading to you guys everything about all of my Drunk Elephant products. Alright. This all-purpose rescue cream, whipped into an airy blend of six rare African oils, recovers and locks in intense moisture for hours after application. And then, of course, it just says suggested use apply a pump of Lala Retro anytime to clean dry skin mixed with any drunk elephant serum, oil, or sunscreen. Um, add a shot of B-Hydra for an additional boost of vitamin B and hydration, which is what I'm going to do. So I grab my Be Hydra Serum and I am going to go ahead and just get a couple drops and do the same thing that I just did. Dab everywhere. Okay. 
And then this is my favorite product ever, I think. This is the TLC Glycolic Night Serum. Now this is kind of like the retinol cream. You need to ease your skin into it because it is such a... It's just a potent product. I mean, these products work. Um, so, suggested use. In the evening, apply to clean, dry face, neck, chest, and backs of hands. That's what I did this morning. Um, avoiding the eye area. Mix with virgin marula oil for maximum effectiveness. Tip, slight tingling may be experienced, particularly for the first few days of application. So there you go, you just need to be careful when using this product. So I am going to, actually I'm going to do this last. Before I put that on, I'm just going to put the marula oil on. for maximum effectiveness. Oh my god, it's dripping everywhere. I like to put the oil on first just so as soon as I get whatever serum I'm using, rather whether it's the C Firma one that I showed you this morning or this one, I like to have it on and ready to go. So as you can see, um, it's kind of, everything is like not mixing together at first. Just takes a minute, just rub everything in. Everything mixes together perfectly, I promise, and it feels magical. Now, the really cool thing about Drunk Elephant, like my favorite thing, is the fact that you can mix all of the products together. I mean, I love that concept so much. I know it can be expensive, but if you don't know what product pilling is, product pilling is when you're rubbing in your product. You can see that right now it's just rubbing into my skin. My skin is soaking it up. It feels absolutely incredible and it's just soaking into my skin. I mean, there's no issue. Product pilling is when you are rubbing it into your skin and it just rubs off. It pills off. I have a certain product that does it every time and I, I thought about showing you guys, but I just put <clears throat> like $300 worth of skincare on my face and I'm not about to waste it. So we'll do that another time if you guys want another skincare video where I get even more into depth and technical about um, skincare. So last step again, I do this in the evening as well, eye cream. So I'm just going to skip over this, but I just wanted to let you guys know that as well. Okay, so if your skin is really, really dry, I do this in the winter months here up in Idaho. It's almost always dry. Um, this is the Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask. So the product that actually gives me product pilling every single time is the Watermelon Glow Mask by the same company. But the Avocado Melt one is great and it just super moisturizing and you wake up and you're just like oh. so um, that's another little mask that you can check out it's by glow recipe and um, I would put it on right now but my skin is just feeling so perfect that I'm just going to leave it be tonight I believe I used that last night though all right and then this is my bougiest product if you want to go all out and be bougie as fuck this is the La Mer Cream. This is the most rich, luxurious, moisturizing cream I've ever, ever felt in my life. I mean, you truly have to feel it to understand. But it is so, it, it's so, it's just a joke how expensive it is. Like, I never use it. I just have it to stare at it. Like, I love you. I wish I could afford you. Hi. Like, it's about all I can do with it. Can't use it. Nope. Oh, and it smells like literal roses, and it's just, oh my god. A 
girl can dream. Maybe one day I'll be doing a full La Mer skincare routine, huh? That would be cool. Yeah, a girl can dream. A girl can dream. Alright, so we are finally going to get into the giveaway. So, here you guys have it. The Drunk Elephant Littles. So, it comes with C Firma Day Serum. Boom. Um, the Marula Oil. Ooh, you guys are going to love that. So it comes with the Marula Oil as well. Um, B Hydra. B Hydra. The Bestie Number 9 Cleaner. Sea Tango Eye Cream. And... TLC Frambu's Glycolic Night Serum. Um, and also it comes with the Umbra Tinty Daily Defense Sunscreen. It is like, um, they are like bronzing sunscreen drops. I have never used that. Like I, like I said before, I do not have the sunscreens and that's the only things that I'm missing from my Drunk Elephant collection. But anyway, go ahead and take a look. That is everything that it comes with. The back has all of the ingredients, instructions, um, all of that jazz, um, tips, directions, how to use, um, all of that is on the back for you guys. This is $130 US value. Um, so yeah, so yeah, it has everything that I kind of read to you guys today, which is really cool. Um, and of course it comes with this little cute little blue bag. So I have not taken this out of the packaging. I haven't touched it. Um, I haven't opened the bag or anything. Like everything is in there, never been used. So this is for one of you guys. And this is for getting me to 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Um, so this is me giving back to you guys. And, um... Who knows, if I hit a thousand subs one day, girl, we'll see what happens then. But I did want to go ahead and throw in the Jeffree Star Magic Star Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. I had a few of these laying around, so I thought I would just throw this in for you guys as well. Why not? So yeah, I'm really excited for one of you guys to get to experience this. And I hope you guys did learn a lot of information in today's video. Um, so, you're all wondering, how do I enter this giveaway? So after this video goes live, I will have a post on Maddie Marlene Makeup. Not my regular Instagram, not MaddieBlack18, Maddie Marlene Makeup. Um, just like my last giveaway, pretty much same instructions apply. So make sure you are subscribed to me. Um, on this YouTube channel, you are following Maddie Marlene Makeup, and then just go ahead, like, comment, and tag two people on the photo that is for the giveaway, and I will make sure that you guys know exactly what photo that is, just like I did last time, and um, I'm definitely more prepared this time for a giveaway than, I, than the last time, jeez. Uh, So yeah, so yeah, there you go. There's the giveaway, there is everything skincare, and if you guys enjoyed, please let me know down in the comments. This is um, my first like super in-depth skincare video. I could talk about it, obviously, forever, so if you guys want to see another one in the future, let me know. So again, just subscribe to this YouTube channel, be following me on Instagram, and then like and comment on the giveaway post, tagging two people. Again, thank you guys for getting me to 500 subscribers. It is a pretty cool feeling. I know it's not a lot, but it's something, and it's a good start. And just thank you guys all for being patient as usual. And I hope that one of you enjoy your little gift. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, 
Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.